Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, I am telling you guys how you can be very successful and get to a very high trophy count at a low Builder Hall 3 uh, through mid to max Builder Hall 3. So pretty much that m middle low tier range. Um, it could even go down to Builder Hall 2 to a certain extent. But for new players who are probably in the same position I am, you've been playing for a few days now and you wanna get those trophies up so you can get the bigger loot bonus and upgrade your base faster. Uh, this video is gonna give you basically the two things you need to be doing that will make you very successful and will make you very difficult to beat in these battles. I know because it's worked for me, I'm up at um, almost 1,200 trophies. I only have two army camps, so um, that's uh, a pretty big feat. It's not that big of a deal, but um, it's hard to do, and the loot bonus is great up here. Um, so, like I said, for those of you uh, subs subscribers, um, I'm covering both the Builder Hall and regular village as of right now. Um, probably more of a focus on clan wars, but I wanna cover some of these key things in the builder village. So let's get started. There's two things you need to be doing to get those trophies up. And just as you would think, one is defense, one is offense, because there's two uh, different aspects to winning a battle, defense and offense. So this is what's called the 50% strategy and this will make you very successful. Defensively, what you need to do is not worry about your town hall, put that archer tower in the middle of the base, keep it well protected. Keep in mind, I have the crusher, I have the firecracker, but, and I have the Tesla, but even back when I only had these three defenses, I was using this and I got up to almost uh, about 1,000, almost 1,100 trophies just with those three defenses. What you wanna do is use your walls protect the archer tower, and to a certain extent, protect your cannons, and I guess if you have the crusher, protect that as well. If you do have openings in your walls, that's where you wanna put the push traps. If you have a crusher, push them into the crusher. If you don't, just push them away from your defenses. If you have spring traps, put those out in the opening, unless you have a base like mine where you can uh, afford to put them in the middle here. Um, if you have the bombs, put them by the town hall. If you have a Tesla, put it by the town hall. You want your town hall and your laboratory, your two high HP buildings, to both be close to your archer tower. You want her to cover most of these buildings. The idea, basically, overall for this is to have the attacker get the town hall, but not 50%. Because at this level, what people are gonna start doing is they're gonna realize it's difficult to three star once you get, you know, at least to a somewhat builder hall three even with these three defenses, if you use them right, if you have a good setup, um, you can check out my base for more uh, setup tips and stuff. I made a base building uh, video a few uh, days ago, but um, the main idea is protect this archer tower. That's the key and uh, put these uh, push traps and spring traps to protect your Teslas, or not your Teslas, your cannons, wherever there's a gap in the walls. And I do recommend having a gap, especially if you're a low level player. Um, use the walls to protect the archer tower. Use the gaps in the walls to bait in giants or whatever else, whatever other ground troops there are, and put the spring traps, the push traps there to uh, screw them up. But put your mines by your town hall, put your Tesla by your town hall, because any good attacker or any somewhat okay attacker actually, the good attackers might not even do this, but most people being new to this game mode are gonna try to attack your town hall. They are gonna get it taken out. It's not that hard to get a level three town hall taken or a level three builder hall taken out. Um, but by having these traps there, they're not gonna get a whole lot else, especially with these three defenses all being in, in range. They're gonna have trouble getting much past the builder hall. I'm gonna go ahead and start some attacks to kind of show you examples because it's easier to show than to describe. But this is the basic idea that builder hall doesn't matter as much. Now, flip side, what are you doing offensively? The key is 50% because they can get a one star, but they'll probably only get about 30% of your base taken out. If you get a 50% one star, you don't need to get the builder hall, but you have the one star based on percentage and the tiebreaker is also percentage, so that 50% is better than their one star if it's 30%. Okay, a little bit confusing, I know. I only have two army camps, which is pretty much a minimum. Almost everyone has two army camps. The second one's very easy to get. Let's talk about how we can uh, do this offensively. We wanna get 50%. If the builder hall is there, take it. If it's not, which most of the time it'll be in the middle of the base, 
don't worry about it. So how can we get 50% on this base? That's the first question you always wanna ask yourself. And on this one, taking a look at it, keep in mind the double cannon has a very limited range. The archer tower has a huge range, especially when most people who are um, of relatively medium or high intelligence put it on the range mode, which is much more effective at low levels. You've gotta get it taken out to get 50%. So how are we gonna get the archer tower taken out? Our best bet is gonna be probably 12 archers, as it typically is. You're gonna find yourself using archers and beta minions. And I'll elaborate more in just a moment. But um, before this, uh, before I run out of time here, let's go ahead and uh, try to take this out. Like I said, the archer tower is the first thing we need to get down. Drop one and test for traps. Oh, we got a Tesla there. Okay, let's pause and think about this. Can we overpower that Tesla? I think we might be able to. And then from there, we can snipe a lot of free buildings. Always check the corners for anything. Nothing in the corners. Perfect. Okay. Let's get these sneaky archers down. Got a mine there, which did not help at all. A push trap. I don't like either of those. Um, a spring trap. This guy was really prepared. And sometimes they are. That can screw you. Another one. Dang, this sucks. I uh, get that archer tower. Nope. Not going to get it taken out. So... That's unfortunate. Oh, actually, step up, step up, step up. There you go. And now this one archer I put back here, and I think that's this one's a done deal. This should be 50%. All we got to do is wait on time. Uh, the traps were there, but they, um, they couldn't quite get the job done against me. Now this archer should take out that gold mine, and we should be in business at 50%. Yeah, that'll get 50%. So as you guys can see, it's mainly archers and also beta minions because... They are both very easy to upgrade to the two key abilities. The first key ability is going to be the uh, the archer's invisibility, and the second key ability ability is for the beta minion getting the extra range. Both of those allow them to snipe buildings more efficiently. The archer will be invisible for a short period of time. It can get some free shots off. The beta minion has an insane range for a short period of time for the first two shots. So it will also be able to snipe buildings very well. So you can get 50% pretty easily. Uh, maybe even the town hall here. Yeah, we're going to get the builder hall. Better put my phone down because it's going to be a moment. But this one is even more of a victory. Um, unless this guy is an insanely good attacker, I doubt he did anything to, uh, to do much against my base. Let me uh, plug my computer in real quick. It's getting low on battery. Um, there we go. Computer plugged in. I'm on my laptop. That's how I record. Uh, but anyway, the archer goes down. Let's check and see what he got. But we got 58% two stars. I will take that any day of the week. So 40% one star. What do you know? Um, just first of all, had that only been a 50% one star, we still would have won because he only got 40% and a one star. Now, look what they try to do. They're very sneaky. Sneaky archers, actually. Um, very fitting for this attack because they're going to try to get the 50%, but this is a tough base to 50%. Uh, that archer being right in the middle has so much range, it can take all that stuff out. Plus, do not underestimate the cannon. Its range is very large. The double cannon, not so much, but the single cannon is also a good building. Um, I should move that a little bit closer. You want to keep your buildings protected, because what you are defending against is not the town hall push, which you can see is very easy to get. The mines go up and kill the archers, which is important for percentage, but the builder hall is not that hard to get taken out. That's fine. Just don't let them get the percentage. Let me adjust my base at that, and we'll do an another attack or two. Let's move that a little bit closer. That way it's defended. Um, I used to have my Tesla down here to defend percentage, but it's so hard to get 50% on a base with an archer tower in the middle anyway that I think it doesn't matter. The Tesla's better up there. So let's attack again, and let me kind of show you how good this strategy really is. Okay, next base, a little bit more developed it looks like, but this is key, and they're all putting their builder hall in the middle. Little do they know this is not a good strategy. Most likely a Tesla there, just keep that in mind. Probably going to be a Tesla there, just looking at the gap in the base, um, and he looks like he's high enough level to have a Tesla. Let's see. I like an archer-beta minion combo. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, beta minions because the backside of the base looks very susceptible to a uh, air attack because the firecracker and the archer tower are on the other side and the Tesla has limited range. At that, let's go ahead and try this. Always check the corners. Nothing in the corners. That can be free percentage because people do that for some reason. Uh, let's drop a test for traps, which there probably are. Or not. Maybe not. Okay, let's get those down. That'll be plenty to take out that archer tower. 
and we are in business. Let's get a uh, beta minion here. Look at that range, guys, insane. First two shots are great. Uh, beware of the firecracker though. It can battle uh, with right with the beta minions because it has range as well. I believe we can also snipe some of these with archers. Uh, just free buildings, guys. It's gonna be more than 50%. Uh, that beta minion will step up right there. I have two in the bag that I don't even know where to drop because um, I can probably get this army camp taken out. That's the great thing about beta minions. If you have one of them left, the two shots are pretty powerful um, at range, those two shots it has initially. That can almost get a building taken out. So even if an archer tower is covering an army camp, for example, it might not even matter because the, the army camp will already almost be down after the first two shots. When the beta minion steps up into range, all it has to do is finish it off. That's pretty much it. So um, that firecracker will definitely stop the attack. But I think we can find, the last thing we can get is probably that barracks. Or maybe actually, let's see, is that going to take it out? Yep, the firecracker can reach it. Um, I'm probably going to have a better chance of getting that. Um, it's, lo it's lower HP, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that'll go down. Uh, so we'll get about 60, 61%. Um, good stuff there. Go ahead and uh, yeah, that'll be it. Let's check and see what we had for defense. I think it's going to be a victory, but you never know. Yep. What do you know, guys? 47% one star. Kind of close here. They almost got the 50%, but not enough. Um, let's see. Sniping buildings. This is something I probably have to defend against better. Maybe move my cannon. But look, when they come for the town or for the builder hall, excuse me, they're not getting much besides that builder hall with all the DPS uh, sources right there, ready to take them out. Let me go ahead and adjust a few things just to make sure they don't get that 50%. Um, let's see. I don't really know what to do. Um, I guess I can move the army camp a little bit. Yeah, I guess I can do that. Maybe that'll better protect it. I don't know. Um, so far, so good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's do one more attack. Um, because I am winning and I think that the base is pretty solid. Okay, um, taking a look at this one, I think I've actually seen this base before. It is a solid base, but always look to take out the Archer Tower. It has the range, it is the key to getting that 50%. So, looks to be a level 1 Archer Tower, I believe, which is a good sign. It is somewhat defended by some cannons as well, especially that double cannon can be kind of intimidating. Um, the question is, should I use 12 archers or 6 archers for minions? I don't really see any use for uh, minions because there's a firecracker on the back end. So let's go with archers for this one. Um, nothing in the corners. So that's the first check down. If we're a quarterback, uh, we have the check down. And then I'm just going to try to funnel the archers into here being cautious of traps. Let's put like two there. Um, I guess we might hit some traps. Let's hope not. Uh, step up. And remember, while the cannon's distracted, maybe we can snipe a defense right there. Gotta really get that archer tower down. Come on, go down. That Tesla popped, which really hurt. Get it down, get it down, get it down. Oh boy. And I can't use that one archer. If I had that one archer, I could get some much more uh, value. I could get those two defenses. This one might be the one fail. This isn't the easiest thing to do. Um, if it was really easy, I guess everyone would be able to do it. So um, it has its limitations when a Tesla pops, when stuff you kind of don't expect to happen, happen. Uh, but I'll get um, about 29%, about 30%. The problem is if you don't get that 50%, you're not looking too good because the, ta the builder hall is so easy for them to get, it's most likely going to be a defeat. So as that archer steps up, this will probably be wrapped up. Um, let's go ahead and go back. I'm sure they got the same percentage, around 29%, but they probably have the one star from the Builder Hall. Yeah, what do you know? Um, just as I predicted. So um, we are going to have to do one more battle. I want to end on a win here for you guys. Show the power of this strategy. Um, okay, looking at this base, we have a pretty exposed Archer Tower, which I like to see. Um, we have... Some pretty good value that can be gotten back here. The choice will often be, do I use 12 archers or four beta or four beta minions and six archers? And depends on how easy it is to get the archer tower taken out. Depends on the firecracker positioning, stuff like that. For this one, it might be a risk to use beta minions in case the archer tower 
can't go down with six archers. So we'll play it safe and use 12 archers. Um, let's drop a test right here. Doesn't appear to be many traps, so we can go ahead and start getting these guys in. You always want to save one or two and check the corners. I forgot that. Uh, you always want to save one or two um, because you want to be able to position them in places like this to take out that, um, what do you call that thing? The crusher. Um, oh, maybe even a town hall. Yep, we got the town hall. This one is looking even better. Um, although oftentimes the town hall was irrelevant because if you get the 50%, you've already beat them anyway. If they get 50%, um, which would be better than your one star, then oftentimes they might have more percentage than you. So the town hall, that doesn't make sense, but the, trust me, the town hall doesn't matter that much. Let's drop another archer up here, take that out, and we'll end at like a 80% uh, two star, which is very, very solid, um, especially with two army camps, which um, I think the matchmaking system tends to put you with uh, people that have the same troop capacity, which I like. I've only gone against one person that has uh, three army camps, so that's very nice to see. Um, and this one uh, looks like it should be a, uh, a victory. As soon as that archer goes through the wall, gets taken out by the double cannon, cannon combo. Back out and see how this went. Victory, what do you know? Oh my goodness. Uh, this guy had three army camps. I did not see that when I was attacking his base, but he had 18 archers. So I guess my typical strategy would have lost, but it's not really fair because he had more army camp space. That six archers makes a huge difference if you have an additional full army camp. So you can see what he'll do is, let's see, he'll probably get the town hall at some point, but um, he'll just probably spread his archers out much more. So right here, steps up, gets the town hall, um, and drops the rest of his archers just around the base to clean up some more percentage. They probably get this archer tower taken out. Uh, the double cannon will uh, get those, but yeah, this archer's gonna hang it back and uh, take out these buildings. I bet he was surprised I uh, got the victory here, considering I had the huge deficit in army camp space. That push trap was clutch because the cannon wouldn't have reached the archer targeting the lab, and I probably would have lost, but a clutch push trap That'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, once again, to summarize, the keys for this are keep that archer tower in the middle, test out base designs. Once you get one that works, stick with that. But the idea is you're gonna have the town hall and the lab very close to your archer tower so she can cover both of them. Don't give them free snipes on your high HP buildings. Uh, mines and traps are good by the uh, builder hall, but keep your spring traps and your push traps uh, by defenses and especially by defenses that have the gaps in the walls that will attract giants uh, for the giant pathing. People don't use giants that much, but if they do, it can really mess them up, especially at the lower level. Right when people unlock them, they tend to like to use them. So um, that's pretty much it though. If you have some good DPS by the town hall or by the builder hall, I'm gonna keep screwing that up. Uh, that's a good thing as well. You can copy the space design. If you don't have a few defenses, uh, make some modifications. And once you do get them, just add them in as you would. That's pretty much it for attacking. Use the archers, use the beta minions. In some situations, you can use giants and or barbarians, but um, just kind of feel for how comfortable you are with those. I prefer archers and beta minions for getting that 50%. That's what's key. Get the 50%. The town hall is nice, but it doesn't matter that much. Key is 50% because that can be any type of one star under 50%. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope it helps. I'll be back with some main village clan war content tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye, Sectatron out.